Here we are in possibly the most highly anticipated N7 day since the series began, and it looks like our patience is paying off. Among other things, we've got a new cinematic trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda. Now we know that you're as excited as we are, so let's skip the introductions and jump right in. The first thing we see is the Hyperion Arc traveling through space, with Papa Ryder, aka N7 Guy, narrating. Now confirmed to be voiced by veteran voice actor Clancy Brown, best known for his long-running role as Lex Luthor in the DC Animated Universe, he begins with the line, We slept for hundreds of years dreaming of a new home. This is intercut with quick shots of what appears to be various crew members being tossed around by turbulence. This line confirms that the game will be set, at least in part, a very long time after the events of the original trilogy. Notably, we can see several humans, mostly in armor, and at least one Asari in a scientist uniform. Then, as Papa Ryder, whose name has been confirmed as Alec Ryder, continues with, but when we finally awoke, our dreams of peace were shattered. We see a shot that is strikingly similar to the intro of Mass Effect 2, as the character, most likely Scott Ryder, who is our male protagonist, is shot out into space through the burning debris of the ship. This line from Alec pretty much proves what everyone has been suspecting all along, that something would go wrong almost right away. Now, however, unlike the situation from Mass Effect 2, our next shot sees the unfortunate sibling shaken up but alive on an unknown planet's surface. We then hear an alien voice, or it could be possibly an AI or VI, saying welcome back as the shut cuts to black. This is followed by a view of Scott sitting on something, looking at something, and appearing in rather low spirits. He appears to be either inside or near some kind of structure or ship, but we don't get too long of a look as the shot quickly cuts to your main ship, the Tempest, flying through close over a planet's surface, followed by a three-person squad in front of our new Mako, which now has a name, the Nomad. They seem to be facing the infamous Space Bear, and that may or may not be the same one that was shown in an earlier trailer, though it may simply be a jump cut showing two different scenes. Following another couple shots of Scott sitting down, split up by an impressive view of someone exploring an icy environment, which based on the presence of the Nomad, we will just assume that that is also Scott. We hear a female voice saying, you are the new Pathfinder. Now this could lend credence to the long-running theory that you, as one of the Ryder siblings, would be taking over after something happens to your dad. Though remember, this is purely speculation. After we are treated to Scott Ryder on what we are guessing is the bridge of the ship, we get our first really good look at one of the new alien races, albeit from behind. We've heard that they may be called the Ket, though this might be referring to another race. In a rather menacing sounding voice, we hear them say, this is incredible. The alien is beige color with rough looking skin and is shown floating, whether through technology or its own abilities. Now call us crazy, but we're sort of reminded of Zinyak from Saints Row 4, though we doubt that these ones will recite Shakespeare. Next up, we see several folks, including our new Asari friend, around some sort of pit. It's worth noting now that she has an official name of PB. Now this could be a nickname, though that's purely guesswork on our part. Also, many fans are already speculating that perhaps she was raised by humans and got that name. Now that is why we love you guys. The new ideas never stop coming. Keep that up. PB says it's acting like a gravity well before someone else kicks a small stone into the pit, causing the stone to be suspended in some kind of field, possibly a Mass Effect field, or maybe something else. This scene seems oddly specific to be placed in a cinematic trailer, so we're very interested in the implications here. We transition into what looks like a similar scenario to that which was shown in the tech video, with the player character interacting with the device in an alien looking environment. The voice of one of the new aliens says, I have a bad feeling. The alien's accent sounds vaguely familiar to that of the Protheans, which leads us to believe that these could be the ancient aliens that we've been teased about before. As the alien's line concludes, we see a squad of three in front of some sort of console with a projection on it. Now, is it just us? Or does that projection remind you eerily of the time that Shepard spoke with Sovereign and Harbinger in the original series? Now things quickly get hectic once again, as we see what appears to be the two Ryder siblings seemingly shortly after the crash shown earlier helping support each other. By the way, before we forget, the female sibling's name is Sarah, though we're going to assume you can customize your character's name as per usual. Also, the voice actors for both siblings have been confirmed, with Tom Taylorson, 
best known as his titular character from Octodad, Deadliest Catch, playing Scott, and Frida Wolf, who voiced the narrator in Civilization Beyond Earth as Sarah. Now it is good to know that one has a history with sci-fi, and the other, well, well, the other can definitely make a unique claim about his resume. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, the writer's siblings were helping each other up. We hear Scott say, we are the aliens, as we are treated to an intimidating shot of some sort of armored beings walking with weapons. They might be the same ones that we saw earlier, but then again, they look just distinct enough to possibly be another race. Either way, we know that they mean business. Sarah Ryder reacts to something with a breathless, my god, and the scene transitions to some sort of structure activating. Its greenish tint reminds us of various Prothean artifacts, while the effect it seems to be creating brings to mind the shroud from Tachanka. One shot is hardly enough to go on, but we can make our own guesses, right? The next shot is notable because it appears to give us our first glimpse at the face of Alec Ryder, that is, the Ryder father. For those of you who forgot in all of this excitement, don't worry, just breathe, we'll get through this together. Based on Bioware's track record, we think it's safe to assume that Alex's appearance will be based on how you customize the look of your main character. In fact, we think that you might possibly get to customize both Ryder siblings in a manner similar to Fallout 4. Anyhow, Alec fiddles with a holographic interface on his arm. Not quite an Omni tool, but hopefully those do make a comeback. He's clearly meant to be arming some kind of explosive, as the next shot shows a charge on a surface with one of the armored aliens close by in the background. He hits a button, the thing goes boom, and then we clearly see a distressed individual holding onto something for dear life as it flies through the air. Now these folks seem to be having a fun time with their life. As we head to the conclusion, we see a dark, lingering shot of a planet intercut with bits showing Alec touching some sort of ancient looking device, followed by aliens entering a doorway. This may yet be another new species, as opposed to the ones that we've been seeing in the earlier parts of the trailer, as they seem to resemble the title creature from the film Predator. Though, since we only see them from a side and barely a single second, we can hardly call that confirmed. More shots of the planet with the camera spiraling away, than a structure bursting through the ground in a shot that we've seen before, or at least similar to one. Some manner of mechanical monstrosity, or is it organic? Rushes a pointed tentacle toward as a female voice yells, take cover. Then there is a shot straight out of a Transformers movie, with a robotic looking beast writhing through the air. The framing of this shot is over the shoulder of an armored humanoid with a gun drawn, suggesting that it might be gameplay with the HUD removed. We lead into some cutscene footage straight out of the recent 4K tech video showing a device being activated while our squad shoots and runs away. And then, in a scene depicting several people running along a platform, we get the happy, familiar sight of a Solarian. More than one, actually, if you look closely. They're not well lit and it is a bit shaky, but those are definitely Solarians 100%. There's just something warm and fuzzy about seeing them. It feels like home. You know, if home was under fire and everyone running around screaming. Now back on track, the Tempest, or at least a similar looking ship, flies overhead and the shot cuts to black. Now in phase of view from behind of one of the new aliens, the tan and rough looking ones, walking toward two humans strapped in shackles. It utters, now I know what makes you special, before another shot is shown of an alien grabbing a human by the neck. Whether or not this is the same alien or even the same species is unknown, as the one doing the grabbing seems slightly more armored, but we don't get too much time to decide as the shot quickly cuts away and the trailer ends, complete with the music played when Shepard was spaced in the intro for Mass Effect 2. Is this notable? Does this tell us something about how the game will play out? Only time will tell. Now that was heck of a ride, right? What do you think about what you just saw? Did you notice anything that we missed? Let us know in the comments down below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.